The Queen Elizabeth Planetarium or Queen Elizabeth II Planetarium is a former planetarium located in Coronation Park in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It was the first planetarium in Canada, operating between 1960 and 1983. Designed by Walter Teffler and R. F. Duke, it was named to commemorate the visit of Elizabeth II in 1959. History In 1958 a proposal was put before Edmonton City Council to build a permanent civic memorial to mark the visit of Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip in July 1959. Originally there were three projects proposed a 30.8 metres trillion which would symbolise the three levels of government. A three-sided equilateral prism, and its likely design would have been as a three-sided obelisk, however no plans or drawings were able to be located of the proposed structure. Another suggestion was a fountain, and the park itself. Alderman Frederick John Mitchell proposed that an observatory be added onto the list, which seems to have been at the expense of the latter two options, as neither of these items was mentioned again in subsequent documents. A third option was conceived of by S. Frank Page, Assistant Secretary and Editor of Stardust, the newsletter of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, Edmonton Centre, in approximately November 1958, when he suggested that a planetarium be constructed as he anticipated that an observatory would be interfered with by city lights. The planetarium project proposal was supported by City Council in December 1959 and passed the Financial Committee in March 1959. In July of that year the Queen visited the site during her tour. A committee was struck consisting of Professor E. S. Keeping, Professor Gads, Franklin Lode, F. Gerson, D. Rosenfield, and Earl Milton to put together a proposal for submission to City Council. On December 21, 1959 Mr. H. J. McKim Ross of the Montgomery branch of the Royal Canadian Legion made a motion that was passed unanimously supporting the project in principle. In March 1959 the planetarium proposal passed the hurdle of the Finance Committee with an estimated cost of $110,000. On Monday, March 9, 1959 the proposal to construct a planetarium in Coronation Park was approved by City Council by a margin of 7 to 4. During the Queen's visit in July 1959 Mayor William Horilak made the following dedication speech in Coronation Park. Your Most Gracious Majesty, we most humbly pray that you may be pleased to be assured of the sincere and enduring loyalty of the people of the City of Edmonton. Your devoted subjects desire respectfully to extend to Your Majesty and to His Royal Highness Prince Philip, a most cordial and enthusiastic welcome to Coronation Park. You have now set foot on an area of Canadian soil that was named in honour of your coronation as Queen and Sovereign of the British Empire. We trust that the character of the welcome the citizens of Edmonton extend to you here will be in keeping with the spirit of your visit. In commemoration of this royal visit in the year of our Lord 1959, it is the wish of your loyal and devoted people to erect a building of masonry, brick, and stone at this location. A structure that will serve during the years ahead as a practical and pleasurable monument to perpetuate the memory of this great occasion. The aesthetic value of this planetarium will soon give the development of the Canadian parkland, an additional beauty dedicated to the welfare and convenience of our citizens. May it always be in keeping with the spirit in which you come to us, friendly, warm-hearted and sincere. We respectfully request of Your Majesty's permission to name this building the Queen Elizabeth II Planetarium. In your presence today we humbly demonstrate our allegiance, our gratitude and our affection. The official opening ceremonies were held on Thursday, September 22, 1960. Mayor Elmer Ernest Roper dedicated the building, and a message of congratulations from the Queen's Secretary was read by Chief Justice C.J. Forward of the Alberta Supreme Court. Professor E.S. Keeping represented the University of Alberta and presented a 68-pound fragment of the Bruderheim meteorite to the planetarium. The fragment was made the centerpiece of the building's astronomical display. Also present was James Harrington of Leduc, Alberta then president of the Edmonton Centre of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. The first director of the planetarium was Ian McLennan, a member of the Edmonton Centre of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. He served in this position from August 22, 1960 to October 31, 1965 when he moved on to become the director of Strasenborough Planetarium in Rochester, New York. 
With the opening of the Queen Elizabeth II Planetarium on September 22, 1960 it became the first such public facility in Canada. The second public planetarium on Canadian soil was opened February 11, 1966 in Montreal. During Mr. McLennan's directorship much of the work at the planetarium was done by volunteers of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. Eventually though a full-time lecturer and receptionist had to be hired. Mr. McLennan was succeeded in his position by David Rogers who took over on November 1, 1965 and whose short term of office lasted until July 31, 1966 when he was appointed as director of the H. R. Macmillan Planetarium in Vancouver, British Columbia. During Mr. Rogers' directorship the planetarium produced its most successful shows. The popularity of this attraction can be seen in the fact that the 25,000th person saw a show on July 4, 1966. In 1967 an attendance record of 33,500 was reached. Shortly thereafter the staff position of technician was added. The person hired for this position was William Cable. The next director was William Cable who took over on August 2, 1967 and was in the position until 1973. During Mr. Cable's directorship the involvement of the Edmonton Centre of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada was reduced considerably. In addition attendance dropped from the 33,000 in 1967 to 12,500 in 1972. Mr. Cable left the planetarium in 1972. Mr. John Hall took over as director on January 5, 1973 until the planetarium closed on December 31, 1983. He then moved on to become the director of the Edmonton Space Sciences Center now tell us World of Science Edmonton. Topic current status The Queen Elizabeth II Planetarium was designed to be the main focal point of Coronation Park. At the time of its construction, and for a few years afterward the planetarium was the only structure in Coronation Park. Coronation Pool was started in 1967 as a centennial project and was opened in 1970. The Coronation Arena was opened in 1970, and the Commonwealth Lawn Bowling Club was constructed between 1975 and 1978. The planetarium was hampered by a seating capacity of only 65. It closed at the end of 1983 and was superseded by the adjacent Edmonton Space Sciences Center, finished in 1983. The Edmonton Space Sciences Center is now known as TELUS World of Science. Since closing the planetarium has remained vacant, falling into a poor state of repair. In November 2016, the city announced plans to restore the planetarium and grant it full heritage status.